Hi guys, Jenny from Quadrant here, and I wanted here with you to experiment to see what guys from N8N did. And they did a self-hosted AI starter kit, which is a low-code development environment for your local AI with all the data, security, privacy, everything locally, everything perfect, everything low code. And I just want to see what guys did also show it to you because guys included Quadrant and it's very interesting to see how Quadrant looks on their platform. So definitely I'm going to show it to you and let's see together. I need to be honest, I already once did it before I did that video, but then I decided, okay, let's just record it and then you're going to go through the process with me, seeing that the rails are also sometimes not so polished and shiny and they may stupid mistakes and demos so we're going to be together in that but honestly speaking that was pretty intuitive so i am very happy to share what guys did and let's see let's see i am very excited to see what experiments what tutorials what solutions in production people are going to make with that tool it's pretty simple to install. You just need some GBs on your disk. You need a Docker and you need to run these three lines. And then you can basically open this thing, this local host. And it's gonna be a demo that guys preloaded for you. It's a simple chatting with Olama with a Llama 3.1 model that is selected by default which of course can be exchanged with other models. But I am interested in only one thing, like a true DevRel of Quadrant, in Quadrant, how does it look? So let me very, very fastly showcase you guys. So when you're gonna experiment, you can't say that we didn't show it to you. So how it goes, I am searching Quadrant here and I am seeing this beautiful icon. I'm selecting it. It's immediately on this canvas. Um, I love beautifully designed stuff, honestly speaking. And here we get three options. What can we do? It's get many ranked documents, insert them, or retrieve for agent. I am honestly not a professional yet in that one, but here we have docs, which one can open and see what actually is to be done. And also there are examples. I am very happy if somebody will create a tutorial which will showcase it deeper or I'm going to look at it myself or my colleagues will. But for now, let's just check it out. Let's just see what can we do. So it's basically retrieving, it's getting them from collection and it's inserting them. And I guess the step where everybody gets demotivated is connecting credentials. And I'm going to do this together with you just to show how intuitive that was because I am as a lazy person. I was the one who didn't know how to create it. I didn't even check the docs much. Uh, so I did it like this and I'm going to repeat it for you guys. I, you just do create new collection and you just go here to check which fields do you need. And the fields are API key for the Quadrant cluster and Quadrant URL. So I'm going to be as efficient as I can be and show two demos in one. I'm going to show you how to create API key in our cluster because I am incredibly efficient on this Friday evening. So as you can see, I can open our cloud in Quadrant and then I will go to my clusters I have only one cluster, which is healthy, working, and free tier. And I can see its details. In these details, you can see API keys, and you can create one. And then, please forget that you see my API key here. I'm going to absolutely not forget to delete it, which I'm not sure, but you know. And then we open a dashboard and then we can see our Quadrant cluster URL that people uh, in this local platform, I mean, not people, <laughs> but it's, it's asked. And you add your API key that you just created here. So everything should be connected and then you can get all of this visualization of your collections of your points in the collections and everything. Uh, we don't have any collections here. I mean, 
let's create some. You just run a tutorial for simplicity and you will have a collection here, which is called test collection. And then let's return. So we have now everything. We have API key and we have URL, which is here. And we do the save and here you go. Everything is connected. So from now on, you can do all of the combinations that you want. For example, for retriever, uh, or let's say get many. You want to get many run documents from vector store, which are already there, which are already in collection. There are like a lot of points, not like four like in mine. And you can just select that one. You select your collection, which is here. Then you write some certain prompt, which is going to be transformed by the embedding model. You can select basically anything, for example, Olama one. And that's, that's kind of it. That's kind of it, what's going to happen. Um, and of course, you can do some other stuff, which is inserting in the collection or doing the third option, which was a retriever. You can test your workflow. You can set up like additional stuff. You can change credentials. And you can connect this quadrant vector store cube, this touch this up with all and others all other stuff that you are willing to use and i am honestly willing to see that so if you're going to experiment with this product if you feel like you want to do some beautiful workflow because i saw so many tutorials using so many crazy connections together and here you can just make it like a simple business process i am super happy to see them and share them from our account so as you can see guys did a great thing it looks very cute it works pretty intuitive and i am very happy to show you that and i'm very happy to see what you're gonna do with this so have a good friday evening guys